Hello everyone. Welcome back to our language learning channel. Today, we're going to talk about expressing illnesses in English. Knowing how to describe your symptoms is crucial, especially when you're in a new country or communicating with English speakers. By the end of this video, you will have gained essential tools to confidently express and communicate various illnesses and symptoms in English. You can ask for help, you can communicate the duration of your illness, and you can talk about using medicine. Finally, you can express feelings related to your health, allowing you to convey your well-being accurately. Let's get started. First things first, let's learn some common illnesses you might encounter. Flu Cold Fever Cough Sore throat Runny nose Sneezing Diarrhea Nauseous Headache Stomachache Toothache Asthma Heart attack Cancer Now, let's move on to expressing symptoms. A common phrase you can use is I have. I have the flu. I have a cold. I have a fever. I have a cough. I have a sore throat. She has a runny nose. She is sneezing. I have diarrhea. I am nauseous. I have a headache. I have a stomach ache. I have a toothache. I have asthma. He had a heart attack. He died of liver cancer. Describing intensity When talking about how you feel, you might want to describe the intensity of your symptoms. I have a mild headache. I have a moderate cough. I am experiencing severe body aches. I have a persistent cough. I have a high fever. Asking for help. Knowing how to ask for help is important. Here are a few phrases you can use. Can you help me go to the doctor? I need someone to take care of me. I should see a doctor. Can you help me get medicine? 
I need to rest. Duration of illness. Describing how long you've been feeling unwell is helpful. I've been sick for two days. I've had this cough for a week. This headache started yesterday. Using medicine. I'm taking antibiotics. I'm using cough syrup. Expressing feelings. I feel tired. I feel dizzy. I feel weak. Congratulations! You've learned some essential phrases for talking about illness in English. Remember, effective communication about your health is key, so don't hesitate to use these phrases when needed. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more language learning content. Stay healthy and keep practicing. Thanks for watching.